I wanted to share a message that's coming through right now for the collective for those that are going through rapid fire transformation. So welcome to Divine Femme TV. If you're new here, my name is Sarah. I would love if you hit the subscribe and join the Divine Femme fam. If you're listening to this on the podcast and you get value from this, please leave a review and come join us over here on YouTube at Divine Femme TV. This is where I respond to comments and questions and things like that. So that being said, right now in the collective there, there are many, many, many Divine Feminines that are they're in the throes of rapid fire transformation and on the precipice of a big shift and so I wanted to dive deeper in into this and share what's going on this is not to be mistaken for the dark night of the soul so many divine feminines have gone through dark night of the soul on this journey many have been deep into the trenches of the shadow work for the last year and a half three years um, or so or more and many have been on this spiritual journey for well over a decade so this message is for those uh, that have done the inner work have done the shadow work have faced their innermost fears and shadows and are committed to their ascension So this may or may not resonate with you right now. It may resonate with you later. Um, But that being said, this is just meant for whoever it's meant for. So if it does resonate, I would love to hear from you in the comments. As you move into unity-based consciousness, this shift into unity that is occurring right now as we speak on a collective level is leaving so many divine feminines that have previously done the work in a total state of uncertainty. You're being asked completely uh, to surrender in faith and trust the unknown and release all fear-based programming and you do this by actually facing your fears head on, no longer running from them, being willing to sit with them and allow them to dissipate, allow yourself to see through them. And so this happens when you're able to rest as the divine presence that you are. The small egoic mind is not going to be able to see through the illusion of separation and the fear-based programming. The egoic mind and the separate sense of self is the illusion that you are in the midst of breaking free from. And so this message is for all those that are on the cusp of stepping into a whole new paradigm of not only personal freedom, but also contributing to the collective as well. And so this looks different for everybody, but many have been faced especially within the last three, six, nine, twelve months, but even more concentrated within the last couple of months even, with rapid fire transformation, one thing after another, life themes are coming to completion. Things that have really um, ruled your life experience for as long as you can remember. So certain life themes are coming to conclusion and completion. And so your life may feel very tumultuous at this time. It may feel as if there's a lot of things going quote unquote wrong, or you may feel like you're backsliding or that you just can't catch a break. But below the surface, you know and can feel intuitively that there are big shifts happening below the surface. So what's happening in your 3D world cannot be taken for face value, so to speak. You know what's happening below the surface intuitively. 
And so as this is just the beginning stages of moving in to heart-centered unity, consciousness, and being able to allow this shift to take place by resting and being anchored in your beingness and detaching from the actual events and watching them unfold from a place of full surrender. This is obviously not something that's flying under your conscious radar at this point on the journey. You're very much aware of this. And even with that, the only thing that can suck you in to the fear because you're so in your intuitive knowing is your attachment to the thought patterns that are perpetuated from the egoic mind. And also, uh, last thing I'll say is that you have to be willing. So the thought patterns from the egoic mind are getting you hooked or the emotions are, as a result of that are getting you hooked and bringing you into fear. There's also a complete reversal of the way you, the way society has programmed you to, to be at this vibrational set point. This isn't a hierarchy. I'm not saying there's good or bad. Everybody's on their own soul journey and exactly where they need to be. It just is what it is. When you move into vibrational uh, alignment with higher dimensional states and you see through the illusion of of the, the fear-based programming that 99.9% of the population still lives by, you have seen too much to go back. You can't go back. Your soul won't let you. You're here to ascend. And you have seen too much. And unfortunately and fortunately, once you've seen too much and you know too much, ignorance is no longer bliss. Like you can't numb yourself back out of of this knowingness and go back to living from a mentally uh, dominant place. This is heart-centered living, not the journey of the mind. This is the journey into the heart and into living from your essence. Um, so I'm going to leave it there. I hope that this video, video resonated with you in some way. Um, hope it made sense in some way. And if it did, then I would love to hear from you in the comments. I would love for you to subscribe if you feel this would help other divine feminines on their journey, then please, yes, like it, subscribe, share it, and that helps push it out to other people that may need to hear it, and I would love to hear from you in the comments. So that being said, if you're still with me and you want support on this journey, maybe you're not a little earlier on in the journey where you're going through a lot of the throes of the transformation, deep, uh, the dark night of the soul, the shadow work that's involved, um, and you know, really opening up to uh, your your heart space and healing, you know, your human heart from core wounds of abandonment and unworthiness and powerlessness, then, then reach out or check um, in the comments or on this, wherever you're listening to this, there is a link that will go to all of my programs. And if you're serious about the transformation on this journey, then I would love to work with you and I would be honored to be part of your journey. So that being said, I hope this finds you well and until next time, namaste.